In this video, I'm gonna talk about the secret thing that I've been doing in my training to get faster and stronger on the bike for minimum effort and maximum results. For those of you new here, my name's Harry Palmer. I'm a long course British professional triathlete and this channel is all about documenting my journey in the sport, but also looking to entertain, educate, and inspire other people to get involved in triathlon. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please do consider hitting the subscribe button down below. And without any further ado, let's crack on with the video. Hi, it's Tom and Harry. We're here to today to talk about some hamstring strengthening work for triathletes. Why is hamstring strength important for triathlon? Well, you're running and you're cycling, the quads tend to take over, do a lot of the work. How many of you out there have suffered from back pain? Um, do you actually know the strength ratio that you want from your quads to your hamstrings? Do you train your hamstrings? Well, we're going to answer a few of those questions and we're going to show you how to train them both in the gym with one simple exercise and how to do them at home just using a foam roller. Okay, so this is a glute ham developer. Now, you've probably got one in your gym. Um, they're very popular in CrossFit gyms as well. They're not normally floor versions like this, um, but there's a reason why I like to use the floor version, especially initially. What we're looking at are the two actions of the hamstrings, which are hip extension and knee flexion. Both are relevant to you as both a runner and a cyclist. To get into this machine, we slide the leg in, turn, slide the leg in, turn. Now, hip extension means that I'm driving the hips forward. And I'm trying to maintain that as I lower myself down over the barrel. And then when I pull back up, I'm keeping the hips forward rather than breaking. So you don't want to be breaking at the hips. Now, we strengthen this through eccentric work. Initially, you'll probably want to put your hands down on the barrel as you come down, and you just slowly come down with the hamstrings bracing you. And then let the hands help you pull back up. It's quite common to feel that the hamstrings are almost going to cramp when you first do this. And keep the reps relatively low. We normally start five to six repetitions for two to three sets when we start out on this. Anyway, go to the gym, work that into your program. If you're unsure, get in touch with us and we'll work you through it here. So here's Harry performing five reps with a little assistance initially as a warm up set. And then once the hamstrings are warm, he'll progress to full eccentrics with the arms across the chest and then eventually adding load or we jack up the end to add a uh, slant onto the machine. And one more. So if you're training at home or you don't have access to a glute ham developer, you can simply use a foam roller for something we call poor man's Nordics. Okay, the Nordic curl is essentially what we were doing on the glute ham developer. You drive the hips up and then you simply walk the foam roller towards you, contracting the hamstrings and then you walk it away from you. Now, graduate this. So start with quite a small motion and then work it further and further again. You can experience cramp if you go too hard uh, initially. So just build it up over time. Okay. So short and sweet video today for you guys. I've been doing some really, really consistent work with Tom here at Body Development, and I've noticed some massive, massive gains across the board, swim, bike, and run. So please do take all this information on board, give it a go in your own training, and see how you get on.